Hello, Shadowcat back with more Biomutant. And last time we, um, well, we almost made it to the Tree of Life. Almost. We, we would have made it if I hadn't stopped every five seconds to investigate something. But I mean, yeah, come on, you can't, you can't fault me for that, right? They put things in here for me to explore. I explored them. That's the way things are supposed to be. I, I'm, t I'm not taking responsibility for this one. What I will have to take responsibility for, however, is the situation that I'm in now. This is a giant oil reservoir that I have to find some way to empty. The only thing that I do know is that there are these handholds around here, which are a little bit, um, wonky, to say the least. So we're going to do our best to make it through here. Whew, okay. I think I can land on that. Yes, yes I can. Okay, then it's a tightrope walk all the way across. Just find your footing. I got this. I got this. I only got to learn something once. All right, now we got a puzzle. Let's think about this. All right, so this one just needs to turn once to the right. This one needs to turn... Well, this one needs to turn one to the right. So let's go right. And then right. Then this one is pretty much the exact opposite of what it needs to be. Either way, though, I think I can get it. Yeah, four moves left. Huh. Well, that was easier than I thought it would be. All right, so what have we found then? That door's busted. That door over there is busted. Nothing over here, nothing over there. All right. So what's in here buried in oil? Something buried in here? It's a good for nothing item. It's a broken coffee cup. Okay. Well, side quest done. Is this like the first side quest that we've done so far? Because I feel like we have a whole bunch of them. We haven't actually completed any of them. But we got this one. All right. And hey, it's daytime out here. Fantastic. Um, hi? Ein Auch a la Georgia says the world is filled with horrible noises as it careens toward its end. Biapo, Nebek Gul. Their father used to have an old spiral groover that they played amazing music on. Figures there must be one out there somewhere. Then you can play those old discs. Claims it turns grooves on a plastic disc into the most beautiful ear tunes you've ever heard. Says it's hard to find an intact spiral groover, but has faith in you. Be careful with the spiral groover, though. They break easy. If you can find one that works, you can fill the world with tunes. Looks forward to listening with you. A spiral groover, huh? I think that means a record player. I know those. Okay, so, one of the things that was suggested last time is that we might be able to get some materials up here. I don't think we can, but... 
doesn't hurt to see. Um, can we actually upgrade anything? So we got this mesh brim hat. We got the creepy mask, but we're wearing the mesh brim right now. We modify. Actually, we could upgrade this. Looks like we would get a whole one extra H or one extra AC out of it. All in all, I'm not terribly inclined. Nah. I think I'd rather upgrade my uh, my weapons than I would my armor. <clears throat> so let's see. Down here. Right, I talked to you already. Oh, little fox. I don't need to catch another one of those. Nope, I have a side quest turn in. Time to get to it. And then... To the tree. Finally. Maybe. In the meantime, though, let's give this guy back his mug. It's all about destiny. Yours, mine, the entire world's. Honky appreciates that you got him the pointless thing he asked for. He thinks you're a true bargain hunter. Honky would really appreciate it if you could get him another unprofitable item while you're at it. It would mean a lot to him, even if it's useless to you. Pistos. The more emotional he gets, the better the deal you'll be able to strike. So, there's something in this for you, too. The useless thing shouldn't be too much of an inconvenience to find, seeing you're out and about. Knew that you were a fair dealer from the day you met. Honky says everything must go, except you. Says you'll see each other later. Okay, so is this guy just going to have, like, constant fetch quests for me? How far away is that one? Another 260 meters? Wait. Is it up there at that church? <gasps> no way. If he's got the way into the church, maybe that's why I couldn't find the way in before. It was locked behind a quest. Okay, okay. I know, I know, I know we're supposed to be seeing the tree, but I gotta find out what's in the church. I mean, I waited long enough. I bet now I can activate that rocket and blow through the wall. Because I didn't see any other way in there. Is there a cave or is there anything around here? No. It's a little rocky outcropping. The day almost makes you want to smile. Yes! Now I can use this thing. Let's pop this weasel. Whoo! Door made. Well, I mean, I guess if we're going to spend all that time on an animation, you may as well use it more than once, right? Okay, what's in here? We've got a wide eye. It's a top mod. Okay. And a gas face. Great against toxic. We'll probably need that if we ever go back to the reactor. Now, looks like I need to go up. Up. Thank whoever left this climb stringer here. Climb stringer. You mean rope. You can't have forgotten the word rope. Alright, we got an unprofitable item. It's a bad tennis ball. I've got a regular tennis ball if you want one. I mean, I'm not using it. Would, would you like a better tennis ball? 
I'll give it to you for a bargain. Mostly because I have no idea what to really do with money around here. I mean, I know what to do with money, obviously, but I haven't really found anything that I want that or want bad enough. I'm kind of used to making do with the tools I have. Keep focused on what you can do today. Tomorrow's <laughs> already <laughs> gone. Ah, see, that's what I mean. You gotta put fall damage in your games. Otherwise, I'm gonna do stupid stuff like that all the time. Alright, back up there again. Back and forth, back and forth. It's okay, though. I mean, you don't have to stay for this if you don't want to. The odds of me actually getting to the tree today? Looking slim. Because I'm still running errands for this guy. But I had to see what was in the church. I mean, I was invested. Now that Honky's got the valueless things he prizes, he says he's ready to bargain. Honky says he now wants to give you an opportunity to get more than you expected in return. He promises he'll make trading with him worthwhile. The more you get, the more he'll give. Oh, Nazi. Says as long as you're happy with him, then he'll be as fair as can be. Honky is always open for business. Honky claims he's a walking supermarket. Wow, he literally does sell everything. So, miscellaneous. There's a tin can and jubilee juice. Hmm. Clothes, gear bits, ranged base types, ranged parts, melee base types and melee parts. Huh. Well, I did get a suggestion that perhaps I should, um... Ooh. Ooh. That's actually pretty good. Perhaps I should work on an automatic rifle. And that looks like a really good part for an automatic rifle. It does radioactive damage. And the damage is up to 216. I mean, it does look pretty good. Should we try it? I kind of want to try it. Yeah. I want to get it. Alright, so that was basically all the money we had. There we go. We completed another side quest. Before all your chances slip on by. Look, Cricket. I, I get that you're trying to be helpful, but... Enough. Oh, night is setting, too. Okay, let's make this quick, then. Let's take a look and see what we can make. So we want to go crafting. Main hand. Oh, wouldn't it be cool if you could get, like, an offhand item, have an offhand be a, uh, an automatic rifle? You could totally go Rambo on it. Okay, create something new. So we've got this big box for an automatic rifle. That was 17 to 22. This thing is 198 to 216. Ho, 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 ho. This is going to be good if we can use it. All right, so we need a grip, top, muzzle, and magazine. So for a grip, um, the stirp seems to be the best. Yeah, we'll go with the stirp. Then we need a stock. Oh, we don't have a stock. Magazine, we've just got this incrementer. For a muzzle... We've got a noozle or a derps. Noozle. And for a top mod, wide eye. Oh, the wide eye is the best one. An approved improvement. Wait, can I craft it without the stock? I feel like I should get the stock, though, before I craft it. We've got all the materials we need, plus extra. I think we can wait to get a stock. So an automatic rifle... With a 26 round mag, that's 297 damage per shot? 
Ooh, that could be good. Okay, we're, we're not going to do this right now. We'll wait till we get a stock. We can do this properly. All we got to do to get a stock, though, is to go basically anywhere. All right. So, yeah, good suggestion, the automatic rifle. Now, we need to get to that cave. I think I can see a flag off in the distance, so there's like a point there that we can, uh, that we can fast travel to once we get there. There's a bridge right there. Let's take the bridge. Whoa. Man, does that look unhealthy. Yeah, let's stay out of there. All right, well, it's getting dark out here. It's getting dark quick. So let's get up here as fast as we can. I hate being out at night. What is that? Looks like a side point. Is that a side point? Yeah, it is. There we go. More side points. Ah. Uh, whence in front of me the path did split, I chose to take the path less traveled. Except I don't know which one it is. We're going this way. Right is right. Scrap tower. Whack. Whack. Feel the night wrap around you. I don't like the way the night wraps around me. Oh, well, here's that waypoint. Let's see. Yep. Here's the tree. Also, there's captives over here. We'll have to investigate that, too. But we're here now. It's a place well hidden. It's just below the above. What is that? Hi, this is where we were supposed to be coming, isn't it? I feel like it is. That's cool. That is super cool. We can get into it. Hey, it's out of date. Out of date's impressed you made it this far, but there's still so much left to do. The end of the world is still on everyone's minds. Mook Bebuk. You've beaten a path where you have the power to destroy or save everyone. Question is, what you'll do with that responsibility? He can sense that your heart beats steadily and acknowledges that the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Kuzata Geto. Thinks it's important that you remember who you are and where you came from. Someone without knowledge of their history and origin is like a tree without roots. Iboda Kilmok. It's important to stay grounded. You share the same fate as the tree. Luatulu Maua. Out of date says there's a time for everything. And now, there's no use thinking of the past, for it's gone. Think of the present, because that's where you are. It's time to set your priorities as the one who completes things. If you continue to do good, good will follow you. If the world really does end, there won't be anywhere to run. So, he's prepared for the worst. Something he calls the Ark. 
He hopes you're right. He gets that you mean the journey continues either way, but personally, he wants the tree to survive. Out of Date says there's no clear record of the chain of events that changed the course of history and brought the world to its knees. He's found evidence on the Ark, records of a crisis, decades of contamination that permeated the ground and broke its inner core. The contamination disrupted what we now know as key energy, the life force that runs through all things, living and inanimate. He's been told the blight affected everything at a genetic level and turned our perception of normality on its head. It was only those that changed that avoided extinction proving that the possibility for survival and renewal was real. He understands you are curious about the ship at the foot of the tree. He says it surfaced when the oil broke through the ground. The Ark predates the back-in days, and now, after years of study of the manuals he found inside, he believes he's figured the ship out. The Ark has room for four more, and he trusts you'll apply wisdom to your compassion and choose whom to save if the world comes to end. He'll keep the seats open, and you are free to invite up to four others to join you in the Ark in the event of a cataclysm. Out of date says that from what he's heard, you've been busy. He says he appreciates what you've done so far, but unfortunately he's got urgent news from his friend Goop in the southeast. Out of date says that even though he's unsure about your intentions, he hopes you'll support Goop. He says he'll point you in the right direction, but finding Goop and making sure he gets what he needs is up to you. That's the sound of impending doom. Out of date's premonitions of imminent disaster are true. The Porky Puff needs to be handled. The what? Out of date says that Goop is worried now that the Southeast World Eater is stepping up its activity. He explains that Goop is working on a goo gliding vessel in order to get to the World Eater, but needs help to get it done. Out of date suggests that you should head southeast as fast as possible and see what you can do to help. He wonders what's on your mind. Wishes you goodbye. Okay. If you feel the narrator is talking too often while exploring, you can reduce the frequency in the settings. Believe me, I've been tempted. Okay, wow, that was quite the info dump. So... This is an arc. Looks like it's got people in it already. You never know how long anything's been buried underground. So, if everything goes wrong, there's a plan B. That's good. There should always be a plan B. If everything goes right... Whew, that is a long way down. I'm not jumping down there. If everything was right, then we don't even need this thing. Good to know. Just, wow. Okay, so, if everything does go wrong, I can bring up to four people. Now, Out of Date gets to go, and so does the Sifu of our tribe. The obvious answer here is that we need to bring along at least three more females. 
Because, like, you can't repopulate if you're just going to fill the, the ship with males. Doesn't work like that. All right. Back outside. Now. Ooh, there's a great big beam of light over there. Oh, yeah, that's the side point. Now, around here, there was another one of those captive situations. I need to go deal with that. I haven't forgotten them. And if I don't help, then who will? Well, the answer to that is, of course, nobody, because no one does anything around here. Um, where was it, though? Oh, okay. I'm on the right way. Just follow the river. It's just further than I expected. Somebody did suggest that I should get a mount. But if I got a mount, then I mean, I would miss so many things out here. This one is Bang Shelter 8F. Wonder how long they held out here. Oh, it's cold in here. It's a cold zone. Even a thick coat of fur is enough to keep you warm here. We got a saw handle. Okay. Well, um... Yeah, I'm not going in there. It's cold. That place is, like, lethally cold. I can't survive that. Not even with the best armor I had. I mean, I got a couple of things, I think, still, that are good against cold. But nothing's going to be good enough. Oh, by the way, I feel like it's important to mention, we're not finishing this game in March. It's not happening. I just, I just want to point that out, because, yeah. Brick racks like that, sometimes still full of good things. Yeah, here's hoping. Where are those people that I was supposed to be saving? Oh, inside here, I believe. Hmm. Well... Can't get in that way. So much for sneaking in. Maybe. This won't be a field trip. It's the real thing. Aha. Uh -huh. Crate. Lotus pants. Six stars. Wow, look at the resistances on them. It's one less. AC, and 3% less crit chance. 60% fire, though. 42% cold. 42% toxin. 60... er... Well, no. Toxin? I don't know. 42% purple, whatever that is. Electric? Maybe? 60% toxin, 40... Wow. Yeah. Throw those on. And an adrenaline shot. I feel like somebody saw me. Oh yeah, they saw me. Can I get the uh, the green gas to go down? No, I guess not. All right, hard mode it is. Now, I was warned that every time I hit them, it breaks them out of the, um... It breaks them out of the moth mouth. So... I want to kind of stay melee. Up you go.
Ow! Okay, a little bit of moth mouth. Come on. I'll take you out now. Alright, some of you have got to go bother somebody else, okay? Go bother someone else. Can I heal? Like, at all? Yeah. I have one of those. Alright, a little bit more, a little bit more. Just keep them busy, please. While I take one of them out. Okay, there's one. That's good. Dodge! Okay, use the health pack. Come on. Down, down, down. Okay, I got one of them. There we go. Health pack? Small health pack. Would you just go fight each other for a minute, okay? I need I need a second here. Like, you need to go away. Yeah, I know I'm half dead. There we go. Just go pester each other. Going through a lot of these right now. Go ahead and refresh that. Thankfully, I regenerate key crazy fast. Dead on. Pick your battles. Pick your battles. Alright, I'm really too far away for this to work out well. Run, 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 run! Alright, get back in the fight here. Oh, did I just aggro more of them? I think I did. Come on. A little bit more. Just go ahead, confuse them. And of course it has to rain throughout this entire thing. Come on, I'll pin you to the wall. There we go. That's another one down. Yeah, I'm in your head. Go ahead. Fight each other. I think there's somebody way out here who's also fighting. Don't you run from me. Yeah, it is. That's a lot of gunfire. 
There's so many of them. Come on. So much damage. I just need to pick him out and then hit him like this. There we go. He's down. That's one less I got to worry about. Careful, nothing is sneaking up on you. Oh, there's still more of you. Well, let's do that then. All right, so you're level 12 then. You should be much easier to take out. Congratulations. You are the weakest link. Here's what you've won. It's a shotgun. To the face. Would you die already, please? I mean, I don't mean to say that I, like, dislike you or anything. But, I mean, I kind of need you to just die. Because either you die or I die. Them's the rules. I didn't make the rules. I just abide by them. That'll be a lesson to others. Now, is there anybody else left here? Because I would have swore there was somebody else over here. No, is that everybody? Okay, then. Door. We got... A grip. Well, that's good. Oh, sweet health pack. Wait, that's an energy pack. I need health packs. It's another one of these cages. This one seems to be in good spirits, despite being left here for dead. Has heard that you have a sense of compassion and trusts it's in your nature to help those in need. Asks you to do the right thing for the sake of your conscience. It's only through your inner conflict you're held accountable for your actions. Is grateful you chose that. You can't be good without doing good for others. Come toward the light. Slow down. Why would you rush in? When you see what you want, why wait? Well, what about being careful? <gasps> Poppycock! Full speed ahead! Hmm. You know, he's starting to sound more reasonable. I mean, full speed ahead is something I would expect him to say. I'm starting to think that things are getting slightly out of balance. There are shadows forming again. All right, we got some metal scrap out of that. This thing is big. All right, I mean, we're going to head back to Goop, but I just want to make sure that I've got everything I want here. Can I get in? No, I guess not. But I can just run up the top of this thing. There's nothing up here, but I can say I did it. Big silo right there, too. Anything in here, on top of here? Anything, maybe? Hmm, no, guess not. Alright, well, we rescued the person. We did a good thing. Oh. Stay away from that biohazard. You'll want to wash yourself off for a month. Okay, so we didn't get everything. Radioactive module. 
the top mod. Cool. I think there's still one more thing around here somewhere. So it's area gold things. Oh, wait. I think I just walked right past it. Energy pack. Oh, was that not it? Let's see. Uh, there's still one sur superb loot. Not sure where it is, though. Not too concerned if I don't get literally everything, because I know I've missed things before. But just one more look around. The world is waking up with dawn. And I don't see anything, so I'm about ready to leave. I see signs, but I don't see anything that looks particularly useful or valuable. Unless there's something else upstairs somewhere that I missed. I didn't exactly spend a lot of time up there. I was more interested in, you know, the people on the ground that wanted me dead. Was there anything up here? I don't think I got everything. Maybe not everything. Oh, there we go. Metal pipe. It's a handle. There we go. Area completed. Hi. Wait, is this all the farther you went? Hopes you have a way to crack open a shell as hard as the Merc Puffs. We'll be around when you return. Okay, yeah, that is all the further you went, but you didn't have anything to say. Alright then, time to quick travel. Actually, no, time to level up. Let's level up first. I think we've got a couple of levels, actually. No, we just had the one level. Okay. Um, my charisma is still kind of poor, but I haven't been doing a whole lot of trading, so I'm not too worried about it. Could probably use more health. Or more strength. Health is probably good. Alright, Vitality then. We've got two upgrade points, six bio points, and nine Psy points. I should probably use Psy points at some point. I took the Psy Freak. I'm not using Psy points. Alright, so for two, what can we get? Add-ons and clothes have their armor value increased by 25%. That's good. Or Wung Fu Wonder. Unarmed attacks do 20% more damage. Key Energize? Hmm. Charmer, your chance to persuade and dialogue is increased by one point. Or Luck Out, your loot chance is increased. I mean... I could take both of these. Yeah, why not? I can steal the things and their words now. As far as mutations go, I could get the vile bile, but I don't really want it. So we'll just hold on to those. As for psi powers, I kind of want levitate. I need one more point for that, though. Oh, it even shows our points! We've got one dark point and 21 light points. Shit, no wonder we're uh, we're so well affiliated with the with the light. Ah, uh, okay. Never mind then. So we're going to fast travel then. Goop is... Way... Way down here. Alright, is there anything nearby? Old World Knowledge. Him. Bricktown. Ah, I can fast travel to here. Shouldn't be that hard to get there. So let's waypoint here. And then we'll just fast travel here. But it's not bright at all. 
It's nighttime now. It took a long time to get here. Okay. Back in Bricktown. We did we not get everything here? Oh, we never did get this laundry machine. Can I try again? You need to turn the page. I didn't know I could see. try again. Okay. Well, that was easy. You really put a spin on it. The skate curve. This is a handle. It's like a hatchet. I should maybe see if I can make a better melee weapon, too. This ceiling fan is pretty good. But, I mean, I should see if I can do better. Also, are we, like, done here? No. Maybe. Old World Gadget. Is this three of three? But, I mean, it didn't tell me that we were done. Oh, well. I'm not worried about it right now. We're gonna go see Goop. Do you see something kind of flickering out there in the distance? Because I do. All right. We have to get down there. I know the best way to get down there, though. See? See? Fall damage. That Needs some. Subnautica Station. Goop flounders around in there. Wait, Subnautica Station. Are we playing Subnautica now? Because I've never done that before. Honestly, not too keen to either. Not a big fan of the water. You need to be taking care of business. I am taking care of business, Cricket. Whew. That's a long way down. Uh, but I don't know if there's any other way in. This place is pretty solid. So, take what you can get. Now, I want to be careful about where I jump, because I don't want to land in any water. Looks like it's all water. There's a walkway on the other side. There's a doorway over there. Maybe I can find the other entrance for that door. Oh, there's a road. That's probably helpful. And a thing floating in the water. Hmm. Ah, there is a door. I don't have to break in after all. Wow, look at this place. What did this used to be? Okay, I know he's like right over there, but I gotta take a look around. What did this used to be? I have no idea. I've never seen anything like this in my life. All right, well, let's go talk to Goop, then. First off, let's mark our place. Let's see. All right, so now we can fast travel back here. It's also old world knowledge over there on a board I missed. Okay, it's fine. Stories keep moving whether you drive them or not. Says it's good to see you again. He's Goop. You might remember him from the old days when he tried to teach you how to swim. Goop says you were always so righteous as a child, and he can still feel it, even at a distance. 
Goop says memories fade surprisingly fast. We are all pieces of what we remember. It's only together we can remember the story as it was. He knows he's easy to remember. There's no one out there as cuckoo as him. He's one of a kind. He understands you've returned to face Lupa Lupin. That's the destiny you've been carrying within yourself all these years. He says that the catastrophe back then didn't vanquish the good in you. It's still there, as bright as when you were a child. Now the time has come for you to remember and act. Your life is your life, not the story you're told about it. He thinks that's the right thing to do. It's only when you have forgiven that you'll find peace. Run, Dark, run! Smarty, take it easy. Easy? Now. No, it's time to go, go, go. Well, it's time for you to go. Wait, what? No! Can hardly believe the world is going to make it. Wonders what that's going to do to the goo. Thanks you for doing everything you could to de-goop the surf. Thinks the Myriad made a good match with you. You're both like sunshine on the surf. But hey, back to the goo. Knows yesterday is already gone. It's what you do today and tomorrow that'll move you forward. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Subnautica station, as the pollution has worn down the insulation of his suit. So you must salvage enough scrap to fix up his goo glide, starting with the old wreck box outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the goo glide strong enough to fight the Porky Puff. It's not that it won't keep your head above the surface, but it needs improving to carry you across the thick goo out by the Porky Puff. Okay. So I'm guessing this thing here is the goo glide? Doesn't look like much. All right, so there's a wreck, bo wreck box outside with the scrap that we need to get this thing fixed up, or at least to start getting it fixed. I guess this is going to be kind of the theme of this game. Much like the, uh, the mech ton, there'll be a particular thing to use. I'll need to get parts to get it working. And afterward, the more parts I collect, the better it can get. Or something similar to that. This must be the goo. Looks kind of like water. Swims kind of like water. Not sure. Not sure what the goo is. Anyway, though, um, yeah, not going to do this right now. What I think we're going to do is we'll take a break here. When we come back. We will find the parts to get this thing up and running. Maybe we'll try to find some additional parts to it. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, we'll, we'll probably just spend a good day or so exploring with this thing, try to find parts, see what other little secrets we can find, and then maybe we'll go after the Porky Puff? I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So, if you want to see it, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell icon so you for every video when they come out. If you know somebody else who also might enjoy this, share this video with them. But otherwise, just leave a like, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next time for more Biomutant. And until then, take care.